Hi guys, welcome back to Cup of Teach. We're going to discuss transforming quadratic function from general form to standard form or vertex form and vice versa. For example, transform the quadratic function into standard form or vertex form, then identify the value of a, h, and k. Always remember the general form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus C. Transform that into vertex form. And the vertex form is y is equal to a quantity x minus h quantity squared plus k. Let's have your number 1. So, yung number 1 dito, naka general form. We're going to transform that into vertex form. First, we're going to group yung first term at saka yung middle term. Then, yung x squared plus 6x. We're going to use completing the square para makakuha tayo ng perfect square trinomial. Para makuha natin itong x squared minus h na naka-squared. So, meron tayong missing number dito. At saka sa dulo. So, paano natin makukuha ang missing number dito? Kailangan natin kunin yung numerical coefficient ng middle term that is 6 divide natin by 2. The answer is 3. Then, square it. The answer is 9. Let us place here, plus 9. So, kung plus 9 dito, sa kabilang side, opposite. That is, minus 9. So, palagi silang magkaiba. Then, x squared plus 6x plus 9 is perfect square trinomial na siya. Yung x squared at saka yung 9 perfect square. So, pwede na natin siyang i-factor. y is equal to square root ng x squared, that is x. Square root ng 9, that is positive 3. Then, you just copy yung operation sa middle, plus, kaya plus dito. Then, open and close parenthesis, you're going to square it. Then, 4 minus 9, that is negative 5. So, kapag binasa, y is equal to the quantity of x plus 3 quantity squared minus 5. So, eto na yung vertex form or yung standard form. Pwede na natin kuhanin ang value ng a, h, and k. So, value ng a natin, positive 1. Automatic na meron tayong 1 dito. Ang h natin, negative 3. Palagi siyang magbabago. Kung positive dito, gagawin nating negative. Kung negative dito, positive naman dito. Palaging opposite sign. Yung k natin, carry the sign. Palagi. That is why we have here, negative 5. Number 2. y plus 25 is equal to negative 2x squared plus 16x. Ang given, hindi naka-general form. So, para maging general form, transpose positive 25 to the right side. So, it will become negative 25. Therefore, we will have now y is equal to negative 2x squared plus 16x minus 25. So, naka-general form na siya. This time, transform naman natin siya into vertex form. So, ang vertex form, kalaging tandaan, y is equal to a quantity x minus h quantity squared plus k. Then, balik tayo dito. Group natin ang first term at ang middle term. And then, kailangan natin ilabas ang negative 2 kasi dapat x squared lang. So, this is negative 2, quantity x squared minus 8x. So, saan nakuha yung minus 8x? Kay 16x at kay negative 2. Anong ginawa? Dinibide natin. So, 16x divided by negative 2, the answer is negative 8x. Just copy minus 25. So, yung x squared minus 8x, kunin natin ang completing the square para makuha natin ang perfect square trinomial. Pero may missing number dito. So, paano natin makukuha ang missing number? Kunin natin ang numerical coefficient ng middle, that is negative 8. Divide it by 2. 
the answer is negative 4. Then square it, the answer is 16. Yung final answer, lalagay natin dito, so plus 16, palaging plus 2. Then, para makuha natin nasa dulo, hindi mo po pwedeng ilagay dito na minus 16. Kasi meron pa siyang negative 2 dito. So, ang gagawin natin, mumultiply natin itong dalawa. Negative 2 times 16, the answer is negative 32. Kunin na natin ang opposite, kaya positive 32. Yung x squared minus 8x plus 16, perfect square, trinomial na siya. Therefore, yung first term at yung last term, pwede na natin kuhanin ang square root. So, we have now y is equal to negative 2, just copy. Then, square root ng x squared, that is x. Square root ng 16, that is 4. So, bakit minus? Kinapi lang natin ang operation ng nasa middle term. Kaya siya minus. So, palagi lang ikakapi ang operation ng middle term. Then, don't forget the open and close parentheses, then squared. The negative 25 plus 32, the answer is 7. So, ito na yung standard form or vertex form. Therefore, pwede na natin kuhanin ang value ng A, H, at ng K. Value ng A, negative 2. Value ng H, positive 4. Kasi palaging opposite. Kung ito ay negative 4, automatic sa H, positive 4. Ang K natin, carry the sign, positive 7. So, yung kanina, from general form to vertex form. So, ngayon, ang gagawin natin, from vertex form into general form. So, palaging tandaan, ang vertex form natin ay y is equal to a quantity x minus h quantity squared plus k. We're going to transform that into general form. Ang general form natin ay y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Let's have here number 1. y is equal to quantity x minus 3 quantity squared minus 5. So, naka-vertex form. Pero, yung quantity x minus 3 quantity squared ay square of binomial. Therefore, pwede pa natin siyang e-expand. So, kapag in-expand natin, just follow the three steps in square of binomial. So, let's have your y is equal to, expand natin, first step, square the first term. So, this is the first term. Kagawin natin, square lang. X squared. Second step, twice the product of the first term and the last term. So, ito yung first. This is the last term. Multiply lang natin yan and then, meron pa siyang twice. So, times 2. Again, x times negative 3 times 2. The answer is negative 6x. Then, yung last step, square the last term. So, ito yung last term. Carry the sign. Don't forget the sign. This is negative 3 squared. So, negative 3 squared, that is negative 3 times negative 3. The answer is positive 9. Just copy, minus 5. Positive 9 minus 5, pwede pa natin simplify. Just copy y is equal to, copy x squared, copy minus 6x. Then, 9 minus 5, that is 4. So, ito na yung general form. So, pwede na natin identify ang value ng a, b, and c. The value of a is 1. Automatic na meron tayo ditong 1. Value ng b, negative 6. Value ng c, positive 4. Number 2, y is equal to negative 2 times the quantity of x plus 4 quantity squared plus 7. Ito yung vertex form. Then, palaging tandaan, kapag vertex form, y is equal to a quantity x minus h quantity squared plus k. 
So, gagawin natin siyang general form. Ang general form natin, y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So, yung quantity x plus 4, quantity squared, ito yung square of binomial. So, kailangan natin siyang e-expand. Pag-expand natin, follow the three steps. So, let's have here, y is equal to negative 2, just copy. And then, expand natin, first step, square the first term. So, this is the first step. Square it. Next, twice the product of the first term and the last term. This is the first and this is the last. We're going to multiply that. X times 4 times 2. Kasi may twice. Again, X times 4 times 2. The answer is positive 8X. Then, last step, square the last term. So, this is the last term. Square it. So, magiging 4 squared. 4 squared, that is 4 times 4, and the answer is 16. Just copy, plus 7. Then, yung x squared plus 8x plus 16, kailangan natin i-distribute ang negative 2 dito. So, let's do it one by one. Negative 2 times x squared, that is negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times 8x, that is negative 16x. Then, negative 2 times positive 16, the answer is negative 32. Just copy, plus 7. Yung negative 32 plus 7, pwede pa natin simplify. So, y is equal to negative 2x squared, just copy, minus 16x, copy, then, simplify ito, negative 32 plus 7, that is negative 25. That is why we have here, y is equal to negative 2x squared minus 16x minus 25. So, ito na yung general form. Therefore, we can identify now the value of a, b, and c. So, the value of a is negative 2. Value of B, negative 16. And value of C is negative 25. Thank you for watching. That's it for this video. If you learned something here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Cup of Teach. See you on the next lesson. Bye!